Welcome to Open House. We have a great show for you this week, including the Fort Greene home of this singer-songwriter. And we take a special trip down to Montgomery, Alabama to see this regal example of Southern architecture. We're in the Hollywood Hills to tour a sleek home that takes advantage of its surroundings. And we have a pair of Bravo stars today. Tyler Whitman of Million Dollar Listing New York shows off this midtown home dubbed The Mansion. But before that, Kristen Doty, star of Vanderpump Rules, takes us inside her newly renovated abode in Los Angeles. I'm really excited to show you guys around. Let's go. Welcome to Open House. We have a great show for you this week with homes that range from the jaw-dropping to the personal. And we are getting started in Valley Village, LA with Kristen Doty, star of Bravo's hit series, Vanderpump Rules. This is Kristen's first home and she designed it to be a serene reflection of all that she loves and all that inspires her. Which is fitting because it's also where she wrote her book and designs her fashion line. Check it out. Hi, I'm Kristen and this is Gibson. And welcome to my home in Valley Village here in Los Angeles. I bought this house a little under a year ago and did a lot of renovations before I moved in, so I'm really excited to show you guys around. Let's go. I describe my personal style as boho chic with a modern twist. And I really love the term and character of this home and how old it is, but it was also really closed in and had dark wood floors. So I wanted to just open it up and make it feel light and airy. For the furnishings in this room, I like to mix metals and mix woods and just really kind of mix it all up, but also keep it really cozy. So I love covering my walls with everything that means something to me. So I have some Fleetwood Mac and Stevie Nicks over here. I have my 1970 Gibson Dove guitar. And Gibson, my dog, is actually named Gibson Nicks. So it's after Gibson Guitars and Stevie Nicks. And then my other dog is Bowie, after David Bowie. I have these two gorgeous white marble tables. Extremely functional, but also they're just gonna stay there forever because it's literally the heaviest thing in the entire world. The fireplace is one of my favorite parts of the house. It is the focal point of this whole entertainment space. I kept the original mantle and just painted it white, redid the tile, kind of an art deco, but still like fits this boho vibe. I really wanted the breakfast nook and the kitchen to kind of have a really nice flow, but also have their own identity. So when I redid my kitchen countertops and this white quartz, I wanted a table that kind of had the similar feel. And I'm obsessed with this beaded chandelier. And I love all of my different textures and colors of pillows, but it all kind of flows with the living room as well. The banquette is custom. My very good friend, John McLean, he's an interior designer, helped me bring a vision to life. And then we have piano bench hinges because I need more storage. I also baked you a muffin, come on. And this is my kitchen, one of my absolute favorite rooms in the house. So my appliances are like stainless steel with the rose gold and copper accents. I'm completely obsessed with them. This is my very first adult kitchen. And as an adult, you get to drink wine during the day in your adult kitchen, so cheers. Shall we continue? So by now, I'm sure you've realized, I love to mix textures, different pillows, different colors. I love giving this room the same light and airy feel as the rest of my home, but with some pops of teal and blue. It still has that boho vibe with a handmade macrame. This room also has incredible light and two amazing French doors that lead out to my terrace and backyard. This space, is really why I bought this home. It's so relaxing. I wrote most of the book in my backyard, but if I really need to get some work done, let's head into the office. This was formerly the garage that I have converted into my James May headquarters, my clothing line. It's really kind of 70s, like vintage rock. We tried to stick with a lot of sustainability. This is a reclaimed wood table. 
We use copper piping to essentially use as hangers. We do have a lot of meetings here. Being in this room inspires so much creativity when we're designing. I hope you enjoyed the tour of my house. Fixer upper houses can be hard. They're also so rewarding in the end. Thanks for coming over. Be sure to check out all the drama with Kristen and the rest of the Vanderpump Rules gang on Bravo. Coming up in just a few, we're with another Bravo star, Tyler Whitman of Million Dollar Listing New York. He shows us this dream apartment in Manhattan with plenty of surprises. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Open House. Now we're in Midtown South with Tyler Whitman of Bravo's Million Dollar Listing New York. He shows us around one of his newest listings, appropriately dubbed The Mansion. This full floor residence boasts nearly 3,000 interior square feet, with four bedrooms and just about the same in outdoor space, plus one very special private amenity. Hey everybody, I am Tyler Whitman, and if I look excited, it's because I'm about to show you the most unique property in all of New York City, and we're actually already inside because it's the entire floor of the building. Let me show you around. So as soon as you enter the foyer, you immediately know you're gonna be seeing a spectacular home because you have these marble floors, you have the Venetian plaster walls here, and we're just getting started because follow me and check out this living room. This is a New York City living room that dreams are made of, and it's unlike any other living room I've ever seen. So let's start with the ceilings. You have 18 foot floor to ceiling windows, which to put that into perspective, I'm six feet tall. That means I could stand on my head twice and only then would I be touching the top. And do you notice that we're in the heart of Manhattan and you don't hear a thing? That's because these windows are triple glazed, top of the line quality for complete silence. You can enjoy this home in absolute serenity. So this apartment has four bedrooms and four and a half bathrooms. So each bedroom has its own private ensuite bathroom. You continue to have the high ceilings throughout the home and every single bedroom also has access to the private terrace. This is just like the perfect way to start and finish your day. All right, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Let's go outside. This place has 6,000 square feet of interior and exterior living space. It's no wonder they call it the mansion. And over half of that belongs to this terrace. And if you think you've seen something special, check this out because you have a 50 foot private heated swimming pool on your private terrace. Imagine the pool parties, imagine the barbecues. Every person you know is gonna be begging to come hang out at your place and probably a few people you don't. What I really love about this terrace is all of the details because this decking, for instance, makes it feel like you're at a resort and yet you can still feel all of the energy of Madison Avenue. It's really incredible space and there's so much flexibility of what you can create up here. And quite frankly, I can't wait to see what you pull off. Well, that concludes our tour of this incredible mansion, and I hope you can see in the beginning, I was not exaggerating, there was no hyperbole, there truly is no other home like this in all of New York City, so that should make your purchasing decision pretty easy. Give me a call and let's do a deal. Thanks for coming by. A pool of that size and scale is definitely not something you see often in Manhattan. Coming up after the break, we are at a modern masterpiece in Los Angeles with views that begin the moment you drive in. Welcome back. Now we're checking out a sleek, modern estate in the Hollywood Hills. This home has stunning vistas from the moment you enter, and I mean the moment, with an entrance bridge that leads you to a driveway where you literally park your car on top of the house. See for yourself. Hey guys, I'm John Iglar at Douglas Element, California. 
Today, I'm going to take you through 6902 Los Tilos Road in the Hollywood Hills. The house is about 9,000 square feet, sits on about 27,000 feet of land. It's got five bedrooms, an incredible infinity edge pool, and a whole lot more. But before we even go inside the house, I want you to have a look at this incredible rooftop parking. You come down from the street, across a bridge, and park on this roof deck that has possibly the most incredible views from any driveway in Los Angeles. And now, let's go check it out. One of the first things you notice as you enter the main living level is that this isn't just another white box in the Hollywood Hills. While it's clean lined and modern, the space is very warm. The architect did an incredible job of incorporating rich woods, stone and plaster throughout this living space. And it's more than just a living space. It's a fluid, open, entertaining space incorporating the kitchen, the dining room, and the living room. Following on that warmth, the architect designed the kitchen with rich walnut matte finish cabinets with a suite of melee appliances throughout. Anchored by this incredible bar, you could easily imagine a cocktail party here for 50 people. And if you needed even more space, sliding glass doors retract completely to open the interior to more than 5,000 square feet of exterior terraces. Here we are in the master bedroom, one of my favorite rooms in the house. It's essentially a glass box that floats over the entire city. You have three sides of floor to ceiling glass. Out to the left, we have the Hollywood sign, straight ahead, downtown Los Angeles, and off to your right, the Pacific Ocean. All of that from bed. And now, let's go check out the pool. A second living space opens up to yet another terrace and an all-important pool. Lots of houses in the Hollywood Hills have great views, but this one is truly exceptional. Floating on a raft, margarita in hand, you're perched above the entire city of Los Angeles. Thank you for joining us for a tour of 6902 Los Tilos Road in the Hollywood Hills. Quite simply, one of the best view properties available in Los Angeles today. We'll see you next time. Coming up after the break, we take a special trip down to Montgomery, Alabama to explore this epitome of regal southern charm. You're watching Open House. Now we take a special trip down south to Montgomery, Alabama at a home that exemplifies both the charm and the quality of life this area of the country is known for. With generous sized rooms for socializing and gaming, this dream home was made for entertaining. It's also situated on 10 pristine acres with its own fishing pond. Now they say the stars fell on Alabama. Well, you'll definitely fall for this home. Take a look. Alabama is known for its charming people, its beautiful countryside, and its relaxed way of life. And all of that's embodied here at 2080 Bell Road, a timeless example of Southern architecture. I'm Justin Moody with Partners Realty. Let's take a look inside. When you come inside this grand foyer, you're immediately impressed by the scale of this spectacular home. Hand-painted murals, handcrafted iron balusters, as a matter of fact, everything in this home is handcrafted. And the foyer connects to all of the formal spaces of the home. And the living room of any Southern home is a primary gathering place for friends, family, and even the occasional foe. And so this space had to be generously proportioned, but it's the details that really set this place apart. Custom wall murals, handcrafted radius French doors. And speaking of customs, in the South, we like to make sure our guests are well fed. Come and follow me. In Alabama, the dining hall is an important place. Food is how we greet people, we comfort people, we heal people. So the table is oversized and seats up to 24. This room includes all of the custom features, locally sourced white oak flooring, imported European fireplaces, crystal chandeliers, and space galore. In the family den, this is where the fun happens. There's a wet bar, vaulted ceilings, 
and hand-laid herringbone brick floors that echo the brick front drive. Alabama is home to a great many sportsmen, and the owner of this home is no different. And here we can see some of his trophies. But ultimately, this space is for the family to unwind at the end of the day and enjoy one another. So here we are in the master, in keeping with the rest of the home. The proportions of the master are palatial. The vaulted ceiling height in the master is a soaring 24 feet. The furnishings here are sumptuous and of the highest quality. With a towering four post bed, a chase lounge, marble table, and massive mirrors, this space is a true oasis. Off the master, there's a private study lined with mahogany, a fireplace, leather furniture, and built-in mahogany cabinets. The study rounds out the huge master wing. One of my favorite features of this room are the huge windows overlooking the grounds. But let me take you outside. Let's take a closer look. Situated on 10 immaculately maintained acres, the grounds of this estate are simply remarkable. Out back is an entertainer's dream, a gunite pool with a flagstone border, a cabana with multiple televisions and air conditioning, and a 2,200 square foot guest house making this place perfect for entertaining on a grand scale. There's a fully stocked lake with a fountain, gazebo, and even a fishing pier. I hope you've enjoyed our tour today. It's always a pleasure to show this magnificent home. This home embodies all things Southern, charm, grace, a high quality of life. I'm so grateful to have had the chance to walk through the home with you. I hope that you've enjoyed visiting. Don't go anywhere. Up next, we're in Brooklyn with singer-songwriter Gordon Chambers. I think when people come in here, they feel good and they feel like they can dream. We'll be right back. Welcome back to Open House. Now we're with singer, songwriter, and record producer Gordon Chambers at his home in Fort Greene, Brooklyn. Appropriately named Love Song, this is where Gordon resides, writes, and composes with some of the top names in the industry. Hi, my name is Gordon Chambers. Welcome to Fort Greene. This is my neighborhood, and this is my house, which I call Love Song. So it's been 15 years as a solo artist and 25 years as a songwriter and 20 years in this house. It's a house filled with memorabilia from my travels all over the world, awards for songs and collaborations that I've done with artists to be a source of inspiration. Come on in. So this is a classic, what they call this is an Italianite brownstone. This house was built in 1903. When you first walk into my home, you're greeted within the great room. To me, it's pretty great for many reasons. I'm a Libra, and Libras, if you know anything about us, we love art, we love beauty, we love all things that we think provide balance. I'm a musician, so this is my piano where I've written songs. Parties here always end up with us getting around this piano and singing. That's inevitable. And I think when people come in here, they feel good and they feel like they can dream. This is my kitchen and dining room area. It's my favorite intimate space in the house. This is also my dining table. It was important to me because it really has a lot of memories. Three months after Whitney Houston had passed, her entire family came over for a family dinner. We sat here and we talked. I'll always remember that particular dinner because it was like a sense of healing in this house. This is the more private part of the home where I hang out most of the time when I'm home alone. I'm really hanging out here in the lounge. And on the walls, there's lots of memorabilia. There's awards for songs I've written for many artists. 
presidential invitations when I've been invited to the White House. One of the dearest pictures to me is the night I met Stevie Wonder. This is just memories, memories of my life, my music, my career. I have a whole wall of family photos. Growing up in Teaneck, New Jersey, I was always fascinated with another Jersey girl who made a huge impact on the entire world, Miss Whitney Houston. My dream really came true and I actually got to produce on two of Whitney Houston's albums. And as she came up to me, she said, I think you want to do what I do, baby. And if that's what you need to do, then that's what you need to do. She said it just like that. I was like, you know what? Maybe I am good enough. If Whitney Houston says I can do this, then maybe I can do this. That's when I started recording as a solo artist and the newest album, Surrender, includes a tribute to Whitney. Last and not least, these are Gordon's Gardens at my home, which is called Love Song. I hope you've enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?